Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. You are what you believe you are. Humans are powerful magicians. You have the power to make yourself what you are right now. But it's not your reasoning mind that controls your power. It's what you believe. It's all those electrons, folks. Fire them off, baby. Negativize! Let's take a look at them out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 92. NASDAQ off 156. S&P's off 36. Gold. Gold contract up $2.50, trading at 1652 an ounce. We have silver down 4 cents, $19.62 an ounce. Light sweet crude up a buck. $89.39 a barrel, notes and bonds. The 10-year note up four ticks, trading 110.22. The 30-year down three at 120.30 in King Dollar. It's all about King Dollar today, folks. King Dollar is down right now 134 ticks, trading 111.343. The euro is at 98. The yen is out here at 147 flat. And the British pound is at 114 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. I want to know what's going on your world and the world of the S&Ps. Let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, we're going to go right to the futures because I want to show you what we're looking at here. So we take this 10-minute chart and there we go. So what you're going to see here, and the, the, the S&Ps are a little bit different than the NASDAQ. The S&P already got back inside the range. So once you're back inside the range, bottom line, that's saying that, hey, guess what, man? You're going to go to the top of this range. Why? Because you get volume at the top of that range, folks. You get 162,000 contracts at the high. Okay. Now watch this. This is get. This is really intriguing because the NQs are not set up like this. They were a nice setup, but they're not set up like this. They're still going higher too. I'm not. I'm just trying. To, I just want to explain to you the differences that we have happening right at this point. So the N, what the NQs did. You can see, and this is this is and this is another indication that this market still wants higher price. It's pretty amazing, actually, but the bottom line, it does it right now. We get a rally going. So here's the first bar on the way down, folks, okay? That's when the announcement come out, 1,400 hours, 56,000 contracts, okay? Then, bottom line is you go top side. See how we went top side? We tested, first we tested, the first test was 14,000 versus 56. So that's saying, hey man, you're going downtown. What do we do? We go downtown, now, watch how we, we're trying to test this 10-minute bar. We came in, and you came in with 49,000 contracts versus 56. You know, and that's like, okay, that's, that's not bad. Then it blows it away. But see how it blew it away? It blew it away with 42. So you do 42, you do 49, and you do 56. And what ends up happening is that if it gets back inside the range, you know, now I'm going to swap back into the S&P again. The reason I'm swapping back into the S&P because we know that the S&P, this one has a good volume high, okay, 49,000. But you can see that was 56. But the S&P, bottom line, has a high volume high. So this is intraday. So my take is that it's going to try to get back up into that level again. You know, volatility is going to be here in spades, no doubt about it. Um, Fundamentally, uh, what's going on out here is that the Fed did go up 70, here, let's put it up. The Fed went up 75 basis points. So now the Fed fund rate, which is the you know discount rate, is laying at 4%. You can see it at 4. You know, the, the bottom line is that they're going to be going up to 5, 5.5. One of the things that we all should watch in the future is the aspect, if you uh, we were listening to what he was saying out there, what he was saying is that there was a question is that will the Fed funds rate go higher than the inflation rate? And the way he answered it, he, he answered it in the, in the aspect um, that there's other things that are involved, okay, in that context. Because so watch what ends up happening, folks. When you're in inflation, you know. If the, the co if the inflation rate is like running at eight and you're paying six for money, well, the bottom line is you're making 2%. That, that's convoluted, but the bottom line, that's how it goes. That's what he was basically, that's what the question was about. And 
he didn't answer the question directly. What he, he, what he said is that there's other things that are involved. That being said, bottom line is that, you know, we'll see where this shakes out. Uh, I suspect what we're going to see out here is, you know, we, we go through the next, uh, you know, 45 minutes and just watch this dollar because the dollar did 100% move or move up and down. And now the kicker is going to be like, okay, where's it going to go for the rest of the 45 minutes here? And we'll see, you know, the, the last pop up, it got to uh, 111.49. Now let's look at this. Because we want, I want to see. No, it hasn't hit, hasn't hit the, the trend line. What I was looking for is this, folks. I was looking for that it would come up to the underside of the channel line on the break, and that's a long way away right now. That channel line break is one twelve eighty, and you know we only made it out here today to uh, one eleven five ninety eight. You know, so. Bottom line, you know, we'll see. Um, it's possible that this thing's going to get up there. And if that thing gets up there, that won't be cool. Uh, because that'll, that'll do some pretty good destruction to the marketplace. There's no doubt about it. You had, uh, we had a blast in the past uh, come out here uh, about an hour before the uh, rate hike came out. Uh, that was Alan Greenspan. And he was uh, coming out in the, in the aspect of... Uh, that he thought that no matter what the Fed actually does, that the dollar is going to have a tailwind, meaning it's going to stay strong all throughout uh, 2023. Um, and then we had, we had a question that, uh, that's interesting, uh, the, the premiums in Eagles right now uh, well over 200 per coin. You know what I'll do, uh, Frank? I will call... Uh, one of the guys that I use and see what he's getting for a premium. But there's, there's no doubt. What, en what ends up happening now, this, this, what, that question is really cool. The reason being, folks, is this. When the premiums get that high, right, the bottom line, that is saying that the demand is explosive versus the price. And I always like it when it's like that because that's, 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 that's when, the, you know, there's one thing saying that, okay, guess what? I can buy this future at this particular point. If, when the eagles get that high, the bottom line is that, yeah, you can say that gold's at this price, but what does it actually cost? Well, in this particular case, it's costing $18.65. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.